my wife and I, when we were looking for schools for our oldest daughter, we wanted a school that was first and foremost Catholic and was proud of Catholic identity, but we also wanted a school that was welcoming and safe and also had a strong academic program. We were looking for a school where our children would get that same core values that we were given when we were children. Obviously, it's very near and dear to my heart, St. Cecilia, as I'm a graduate. I think here at St. Cecilia's, you definitely get the quality education. The staff is dedicated. It's very well-rounded. Also, we're getting the faith base. It was just what we were looking for, for a quality education for our children. Each morning, we stand at the entrances of our school and we greet the students and welcome them into their day. It's a nice opportunity to be able to greet and call each student by name and get to know the students on a personal level. We open our doors each morning to proclaim the gospel message of Jesus Christ and we form students in the faith through instruction and also through infusing gospel values throughout all areas of the curriculum. Good morning, teachers, staff, girls and boys. We always begin our day with prayer. And let our actions this day and We remember the families of our students in our prayer and we pray the prayer for peace. Where there is darkness, light. And we pray that together as a school community that begins our day and colors the relationships that we have with one another. We also recite our mission statement. It states that this school is a Christ-centered school. It calls in each and every one of us to be responsible to preserve the Catholic identity by living out the gospel values in our words, our actions, in our instruction, that is informal and formal. And you're really, really great at First Holy Communion. What we're about is the followers of Christ, really, really and we maintain that identity with Christ by the teachings of Christ and to know Christ Jesus and what he taught, and to live that. And that's our mission, that they always are conscious that they're walking in the presence of the Christ. You smile a lot. That is really, really great, right? Our curriculum at St. Cecilia School is a curriculum that is developed by the Archdiocese of Philadelphia. That is our core curriculum. However, our teachers, through their expertise and their professionalism, they flesh out that curriculum. I want you to use a yellow crayon for the oil. We have a wonderful science lab that each student in grade kindergarten through eighth enjoys using it. I still believe water is all talk. You don't have that in most grade schools. Where kids from kindergarten all the way through, they go in, they have hands-on science experiments that they can do in that lab. This year, we began a language program for our students. We started in kindergarten and the primary grades with Let's Spanish. And in the fifth and sixth grades, we were able to offer those students some French instructions once a week. New vocabulary. Give me some words from this. In our eighth grade, we partnered with Archbishop Ryan this year, and some of our eighth grade students participated in a distant learning course in Latin, which was very successful and they see it as a tremendous value going forward into high school. So there's a lot of competition out there and they're looking for what's the modern technology that you have in your school? And as you know now, it starts in kindergarten. We enjoy doing it to see the children advance, to see them to grow in it. How many think the green ribbon is the longest? Look at your graph. I really strive and I really try to focus on having a student-driven curriculum, an environment where the students get a say in what they're learning, they can feel more comfortable, happy, and they feel safe. My teaching philosophy is really if they're happy and if you make learning fun, uh, then they get, especially in kindergarten, their faces light up and they just really take off. Well, seventh grade, I think they're special because they're realizing that they 
are capable of doing a lot and that they're capable of excelling and there are opportunities for them to do that and that's nice to be able to foster that. The part that I like the best when I first started working here is that you could incorporate your faith into everything that you did. When they're looking at the science issues, they have to say, okay, we can do this. It's a great thing. Technology is great. What is good about it? What's bad about it? What's moral about it? And talk about it with our Christian values makes it a, a lot easier. We're very fortunate at St. Cecilia School to have many extracurricular activities for our children. You know, you want a well-rounded child, so you don't want to just have athletics. Although they are very important, you want to offer lots of different genres of activities that tailor maybe to the different students and their interests as they pursue their educational career. Two of this three strings. I think St. Cecilia School prepares our eighth graders for high school very well. We've had an excellent track record over the years. It has been an ongoing tradition here at St. Cecilia School since the Newman program was instituted. We've always had a Newman scholar. Not only do I have students here at St. Cecilia School or my children, I'm also the principal at Archer Ryan High School in Philadelphia, a school that St. Cecilia's sends its graduates to. And when they enter as freshmen, I know that they're ready for excellence because they've been prepared. I feel the strongest part of St. Cecilia's school is the teachers. They're dedicated, they work hard. It starts from kindergarten and goes straight up to eighth grade. They're wonderful, they're wonderful. They deal with each child like he or she is the only one in the room. They respect them, they listen to them, and that's what they want most. St. Cecilia's is a staple in this Fox Chase community. The children who go to the school and graduate from the school and the local high schools come back here to work and live themselves. I can't imagine the parish without the school. I hope it always thrives and I hope my children's children can go to St. Cecilia's school. The school is not afraid to get better, to go from good to great, that it knows it's a great school, but it wants to be an even better school. So it's adding programs, it's uh, reaching out to families, what can we do, how can we be better? We hope to prepare our students to be contributing members of a global society. And we try to infuse within our lessons the 21st century skills of collaboration, communication, critical thinking, and creativity. And oftentimes I add this, the fifth C, which would be Catholic identity. It is the hope of the administration, the faculty, and the staff that these students come to a greater awareness of the love of God for them. In return, they will come to a healthy love for themselves and reach out to others. That they will have the strength and the courage to live out the gospel values in a materialistic and secular world that surrounds them.